right, we have some big news coming in from Karnataka. The Karnataka government for the first time has filed a case with the Supreme Court against the centre asking for urgent release of drought relief funds. The Karnataka for the government itself for the first time reaching the doors of the Supreme Court uh, saying that they are helpless, they have no choice but to take this up legally and asking for an urgent hearing on the same by the Supreme Court, accusing the centre of deliberately trying to deny funds to the state for drought relief. Karnataka has been hit severely with drought and it's been quite a few months that the government has been claiming that they've not got their share of flood relief funds from the NDRF and it's a deliberate attempt by the centre to stall it. Now the state government of Karnataka has reached the Supreme Court uh, in a, through a writ petition legally asking for help and asking for immediate release of funds. They claim they've waited for five months now. They have no choice left but to seek relief from the top court. Karnataka government has asked for nearly 18,171 crores in flood relief from the NDRF. In fact, this year's drought has been quite severe is what we hear in Karnataka, uh, quite severe in recent times. And the state government now grappling with funds, saying no money to aid in drought relief. Let me quickly cut across to uh, the bites and reactions coming in. Chief Minister of Karnataka, the Revenue Minister speaking, let's hear it. Read petition under Article 32 of the Indian Constitution to give direction to the Government of India to release NDRF fund immediately, which is supposed to be released by government of India according to law. There about October 20th, IMCT has submitted its report. Today we are on the 20th of March, meaning six months have passed and central government has yet not taken a decision. Along with the Honorable Chief Minister, under Honorable Chief Minister, we met Honorable Prime Minister of India on the 19th of December. On the 20th of December, we met Honorable Union Home Minister. Again in the month of January, Honorable uh, Chief Minister of Karnataka has requested Honorable Prime Minister of India. All these we have pursued all means available to us to persuade Government of India to take a decision on the drought memorandum submitted by people of Karnataka. After having exhausted all our available administrative and governmental means available to us. Finally, we are left with no option but to seek the intervention of Honorable Supreme Court. And hence, today we have filed a petition. All right, let me quickly cut across to Nagarjun Dwarkana joining us live for more on that. Nagarjun, uh, give us more on the Karnataka High Court for the first time seeking Supreme Court's help in a case that they filed against the centre, saying that this is deliberate attempts by the centre to deprive them of their rightful NDRF funds. This time's drought has been quite severe. Do take us through the condition currently prevalent in Karnataka and what's in that writ petition. Nabila, in fact, in the first time of the history of the state that uh, uh, the state government has filed a writ petition against the central government demanding the relief material from the uh, union government. The state has demanded 18,000 crores because of the drought and the drought relief has not come in the last five months. In September, the state government has been waiting and hence they have filed a repetition. The case is to be listed very soon in the Supreme Court is what we are told. And uh, right now, the Chief Minister did a press conference uh, saying that uh, we can't wait further and hence we have gone to the, uh, the Supreme Court and finally the case will be heard upcoming week. And most likely the union government is going to be pulled up is what the Chief Minister said. And this is the first time in the history of the state that the state is blaming the centre for not giving drought relief. All right. Well, uh, clearly here, the Karnataka government, they're taking this matter up legally, not willing to wait any longer, saying that the severity uh, and situation is so dire in the state. With uh, First of all, we know what's happening in Bengaluru. There's been severe water crisis in Bengaluru city. And then there you have many districts that, uh, uh, that there's barely any water is severe drought. In fact, farming has taken a big hit in Karnataka at this point. It's one of the worst drought-affected states. This year has been rather severe in compared to uh, the years gone by. So here they're seeking legal help 
and all the way to the top court in a first a writ petition filed against the center in the Supreme Court seeking urgent hearing.